Simon B. Hey guys. Hey guys. What is up? I'm Simon B. And welcome back to my channel. I look great. I love this look. But the other laptop that I'm using for editing is now trashed or it needs to be fixed. So the episode last week is not going to go until the laptop is okay. So I'm just going to continue and I look great. This is a distraction from the episode that I missed last week. So I love this look. I am going <laughs> an e-beast boy. Do we love it? I love it. I look great. <laughs> Welcome to Runway Review. Category is Beast Couture. Starting off with Miss Queen Utica. And she is out here looking like a freaking gorgeous model. I really love this outfit actually. This is a, such a different take in the Beast Couture prompt. Because this really looks couture. And it is very glamorous. I think it is inspired by Beauty and the Beast. I think she combined the two with Belle and the Beast and I really like how she did this. This is very glamorous, a very polished outfit. I love the yellow and red details along with the black wolfy furry dress. I really like that concept. I like how long her fingers are and the makeup is just really really stunning and also the hair is so 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 long. Props to your mama. Up next is Candy Muse, and she totally missed the assignment. I mean, why would you come out as an alien in a beast runway? Are aliens beasts? Is that, does that correlate to each other? Is that even like a related thing? I don't know if it is. Tell me in the comments below if you have comments about Candy Muse's outfit, but it misses the prom. The makeup is always beautiful. Looks kind of like Divine-esque with like also the neon green with the outfit. I don't like that she is wearing a furry bikini and I think that's the only thing that is beasty in this outfit. I do love how the latex looks and how it is structured and I love the prop, but all in all, it doesn't really fit the theme and I wanted better from candy up next is tinta burns her and this is such a beautiful idea i love that she is a beast that is kind of like a voodoo doll type of thing and like a patchwork beast i really like this it's very creepy i actually love the volume of the hips here and how everything is proportionate and huge and it's really scary the only thing that i'm gonna change is the makeup because she looks like a doll like kind of person but if she did like a more toy anime kind of vibe with the look i think it will tie in much better than what she has now i like that the the ears are also mix mix <laughs> i like that the ears are also mixed matched as well with like one cat ear and one bunny ear i think that's very smart and i love the colors it's very playful but very scary as well so up next is simone and <laughs> i would like to take a moment a vet? No, I'm kidding. This outfit is so amazing. Like, she took the theme furry, the theme beast, and made it into a very sexy furry. And I mean, this is just some freaking Disney shit. This is really, really cool. I love that she took it on a very sexy route, which is not something that you would think in a beast runway. And I love how she went out as a foxy fox. And I really like this. It's a very, very well done. I love the cutout crop top thing that she has and the booty shorts and all of the furs that kind of matches her a little bit. And I love the hoop earrings as well, all the accessories and the hooves, the hoof heels. I really think that is very beautiful and I wouldn't change a thing. Up next is God Mick and God Mick ate this shit. Oh! I love how she took this in the very Monique Hart kind of vibe, but also very much couture. I love how campy it is, but it is very still fashion forward. It reminds me of Aquarius summer look from season 10, if you remember that. I really like how she made the creature be in her body rather than her face. I love how she played with it and how unique the interpretation is, and I love this, honestly. Up next is 
is Olivia Lux and this actually reminds me of Monsters Inc. A little bit of Sully in there and a little bit of Mike Wazowski. I really like this because it is very colorful and bright but I do wish she did a more creative route in doing like a beast kind of like you know like Simone or Tina Burner did but of course you can't go wrong with classics and this is still like a very drag version of a beast and a monster and I really love it. Up next is Rosé and for the first time in forever or like a few episodes ago I am truly truly impressed with this outfit. Now Rosé looks amazing as the devil and the beast. I really love the makeup. It is very flawless and stunning with this. It matches perfectly with everything that she is wearing. I love the horn hairs. It inspired this horn hair mullet that I'm going on right now. I love that the shoulders are fluffy and big and proportionate to her hips as well, making sure that she has like a hourglass fair gear like that is what I want to see in Rosé, like a, because she is really, really beautiful, actually. It, it reminds me of him from Powerpuff Girls, but a little bit drag and better. I love this. I just love it so much. It, it's very beautiful. So, we reached the end of this video, and it's very short because this runway, they ate that runway up. Kind of like a vagina mom. No, I'm kidding. I love this runway. Actually, I think one of the best runways in this season. And I love that for us. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more of this face. If you really like it, then you should have put a wing on it to get notified whenever I upload a new video. If you want to follow me on all my social media, it's all at Zion You can like my Facebook page, facebook.com slash I'm Zion B. Nakalimutan ba akong sabihin. And as always, I hope to see you guys soon. And have a great day ahead. Bye. <laughs> I look good. I love that.